Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be talking about various GPUs. This is for one of our clients. We had to move to a different location since we ran out of power at the first location. So we're going to move his GPUs to the new warehouse. If you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. Check out our other social media accounts like Bitstreet, Gab, Parlor, Minds, Twitter, Facebook, Rumble. And if you're looking for someone to manage GPU or ASIC mining farm, go to CryptoLLC.org and send us an email. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at each one of these different types of GPUs. They are all 3080s. A couple of them are 3080 Ti's. And what we're going to be doing is just going to look at each one of them. I'll give you guys our take on the quality and uh, just to take on the power connections and the width and the height and all that stuff so make sure you guys subscribe we have more videos coming in on a weekly basis like two three videos a week so these gpus they're going to be installed here see these are all empty so we're going to fill up this whole rack and then this whole rack is going to be filled up with these gpus all right let's get started so first one we have here is the zotax we have a lot of zotax here these are all 3080 Zotax. Three fan, 3080. Trinity overclocked Zotac cards. So this whole entire row is full of them. So what can I tell you about this card? The card is, uh, you know, good quality. It's got two power connections here. So we send one and a half uh, connection of power to each card, meaning that we send one whole VGA 8 pin to the card, and then we also send half of, of a VGA 8 pin. So we have three wires, just imagine three VGA wires coming in, and those three wires are then power two cards. Rather than putting, sending one wire, that's like a dual 8 pin connection, and powering the card, we actually send three. So we send, the, so we have three, and then those three would then power <clears throat> these two cards so that's how we do it for all cards actually not just uh, the Zotax for all cards we give it a little bit more power than it actually needs um, and the reason why we do that is just because we have a lot of ports on our uh, motherboard not motherboard the um, PSU we have a lot of extra ports so we might as well use them all right let's move on to the next card so here's an Aorus card we only have one of these it's a really, 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 really fat car. Look how fat it is. It's got three plugs on the, I'm basically on the same location, very top of the car. It's got three of them. So we send, uh, again, one and a half. So we're going to send one hole to it, and then we're going to share. We have a splitter to share. Then we have a gigabyte. Gigabyte is two. Also three fans. Only have one of those. Next one is we have Tough Gaming. We've got four of these cards here. Uh, these ones also run good, nice and cool. It's got two, two power connections. Then we have the stock NVIDIA GPU. So it's got one fan here and then one fan here. And it's got a special connection here. So that's what we use these for. So here's that special connections. This is the adapter for it. Then we have more Zotax, but these are a little bit different. You see how they have a little color here and those ones don't. So I'll show you guys the back of this card. So this is a, uh, it's a Amp Hollow 1080. So you got some of these cards as well. Then, Moving on to EVGA cards here. This is the EVGA Black, I think it's called, Black Edition card. Uh, let's see, where is it? Yeah, I don't think it has a name on here. But I think it's called the Black Edition, uh, X, X, XC3. So that's 3080. Then we have the EVGA for the Win 3 cards here. Um, oh, these are two port, two VGAs. Or 8 pin and then we got three 8 pin VJ right there so we got a bunch of these now the best cards out of all of these would be the EVGAs uh, for the win 3 and the reason be is that for that for this card 
Uh, the VRAM has really good thermal pad on it, and so it allows the, the For the Win VGA3, For the Win 3, to actually keep the VRAM temps down. So it's got. Let me go move over here. It's got. Uh, maybe I can actually show you. You see some of those? See that gray right there? I see that gray thermal pad? That's the thermal pad, and right below it, that black chip, that's one of the VRAM chips. And so you gotta have a nice solid piece of metal that will actually absorb the heat. You can see it here. You see right here. That looks like copper. I don't think it's real copper. Um, but that will absorb the heat, and you have to have good thermals coming from the chip to the heat sink right here, and then you got the uh, pipes cooling it off. So EVJ did a good job, but not all cards did. Um, the worst card that has the worst possible situation with that VRAM temps is actually this card right here. This is MSI Gaming Trio. And if you look in there, I think this is the Gaming Trio. Yeah, it is. Okay. And it, you, can see, you can see inside, see that hole right there? That little uh, round looking hole next to the heat pipes, between the two heat pipes? Uh, that hole right there, there should be connection or a straight thick connection to the pipe and that that thin piece of metal that's supposed to be as a spreader for the thermal pad. Uh, you can see that it doesn't have nice connection there and uh, it's just a bad engineering and because of that you're going to have a couple of chips on this side right here. You can just imagine you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and these chips on this side, this one, two, three chip half of the chip is not on that thermo it's basically half the chip does not have a good connection causes the VRAM to heat up a lot faster and uh, that causes it to uh, scale down itself and you can't really mine at maximum performance so what we do for these cards is we take out the thermo pad and we put in a uh, better thermo pad and we also uh, fill in the hole for where the pipe is missing put extra thermo pad there so that's how we fix that one all right, moving on to the next one. This is an MSI. Also, these are all 3080s. This is a Ventus 3X 3080 card. Now we have like four of these. Um, also, they run fine. Moving on to this one. This is another MSI card. This is like a really thick card. This is a Supreme card. This is a Supreme X. 3080 card so we got like four of these guys here and then last one is the ROG card it's Asus Strix ROG Strix card um, we didn't really get a chance to test out this card um, to see how it you know how uh, it does compared to everything else most of the cards I'll, I'll tell you most of these cards are fine right they do a good job they keep the temps cool most of them the only one that actually has a significant problem is going to be the MSI over there, which can be fixed if you take it apart and you have thermos. So that's the only one that actually has a problem. The rest of them are fine. Now, the best one, the one that keeps it the most cool, is going to be the EVGA for the Win 3. Okay, that one's the best. So it keeps the coolest. Everyone else does a good job. EVGA does the best job. And then your MSIs do the worst job. All right, so also if you guys are wondering how much all this costs, this is 130,000 or I looked it up right before, I actually put in a calculator right before. It's 120 GPUs, 121. And they are at, uh, actually I'm not gonna tell the price for it. <laughs> um, but you can kind of guess what it is. I and mean, we get a small little discount. This is what we offer for our clients is that we actually get them a lot cheaper than eBay. Well, not a lot, but a little bit cheaper than eBay. And so we pass that on to our clients. If anyone wants to sign up, and have us manage your rig for them, then you would get, most likely, you would get the uh, Zotax um, or the Gigabyte right here. We only have one Gigabyte, but if you watched our other video, previous video a couple days ago, we got a whole bunch of those, 125 of those Gigabyte cards. So most likely you get Zotax or Gigabyte cards, right? And they do a good job. We, have, we already have a bunch of Zotax and Gigabytes running right now. Do a very good job. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys like it. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell. 
Um, check out our other social media accounts, Gab, Parlor Minds, Rumble, all that stuff. And go to CryptoLLC.org if you're looking for someone to manage this for you. Until next time, bye.